Hey, what's up, guys? It's Get Beefed On, and uh, if you did not see my new high quality and wide screen, uh, I'll put the link right where my mouse is. Right, it's probably right there. All right, what you want to do first is go to Properties, then you want to go to NTSC DV 720 by 480 and 29.70 frames per second. Uh, it's usually the standard one, it's the default that they usually put you on. Keep those the same, frame rate, change that to 30. And pixel aspect ratio right here, change that to square. And best Gaussian interpolar fields. Then audio, I always put a 5.1 surround sound, best, best, you know, all that. Start all new projects with these settings, hit apply, hit OK. Then you would want to import your media. I could have done that a lot easier, but oh well. Alright, um, fuck. Those are usually really long, so I'll use a Halo video, because they're short. Uh, man, can no scope. There we go. Alright, you import your clip, then you right click, you go to switches and then it's the fourth one maintain aspect ratio uh, uncheck that box then I this is like you see those uh, very small black lines right there well it's just there and there's a green line right there but that's just how I record I just drag it in right over that but for some reason it's not working for me that's why I already made a New standard screen X and see it's gone. Um, all right, so say that's all you wanted, then you'd go to File, Render As, then it would you'd save it as a Windows Media Video V9, and then the main thing you start out with is 4.8 megabytes per second. HD 720x24P video, 5.1 surround sound. You select that. Well, hang on, I'll just read you the things here. Best, uh, best video rendering quality. Mode CBR, Windows Media Audio 10 Professional. Same thing right there. Then video is CBR, Windows Media Video 9 image size. Normally, I'm pretty sure it's at high definition 720 by uh, 1280 by 720. You want to go to custom and you put it at a thousand and 480. It seems a little weird, but that's it. Then frame rate per second, you put that to 30 also. And then pixel aspect ratio, make sure that's square. And then seconds per keyframe, five. Override default com compressor buffer. Uh, 8 seconds then video smoothness put that all the way up to sharpest bitrate keep that the same make sure it's on internet slash LAN the index summary that doesn't really matter then you'd save it well first you'd name it of course then you'd save it but um also here's just something uh, how I got it widescreen to sort of look uh, you go to deform then it's compressed vertically and then you can mess around with it yeah, so it gives you the widescreen sort of look yeah you can mess around with this I had one earlier but I found it was too much so I have to go down to probably go down to 75. Oh shit, maybe I should put a zero in front of that. There we go. Alright, save. And now this, right now, well of course you do this before you actually uh, friggin 
uh, render. You go to saturation adjust, then it would be boost midtones, then amount, full, center, all the way back, and the spread all the way. And that just makes the color so much better. I'll do a side by side test showing you what it's about, and then I'd save it as something. I have it already, it's quality boost. Uh, I just like that, it just looks better. So, I hope this helped. And, well, yeah, and then of course you go with file, render as, title it, then you use the high quality, and that's all. Thanks for watching, hope this helped you out, and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any tutorial requests, uh, either personal message me or do something. Alright, see ya.